Yeah, if you can repeat the... the yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to repeat. Okay, my, uh, well, once I finish, I can still go back out yeah. before and take some pictures. Okay. Yeah. Gonna briefly. Now, be, before we get into this tour, I'm just going to throw light on, on the door for turn. That door is a symbolic door. It's not part of the caste system. Mm -hmm. It was introduced in the year 1988 as part of a historical festival we call Panthers and Emancipation. Before its introduction, there were skeletons of two people that were brought back to Africa. Now, I'm using the word back because they were once from Africa. Their names are Samuel Castle and Madame Prista. Samuel Castle was forcibly transported from the West African region to New York, and Madame Prista to Jamaica. They died and were buried there, respectively. In 1998, their skeletons or their remains were brought to Accra. From Accra, they brought them to a, a community we call Abanzi. From Abanzi, they brought them across the Atlantic Ocean through the door of return. This is a symbolic moment. This is to tell all our brothers and sisters in the diaspora that all the ancestors will never come back to their origin. But they be the blood and the DNA and the energies of the ancestors can come back to their root this very day. That is why, when you walk through the door of return, that flag stays Akwaba. Akwaba means you are wrongly more God. That's the thing. Akwaba in Yano, they receive Madas. You respond Madas. Akwaba in Yano. Akwaba in Yano. Akwaba in Yano. My wonderful families, this is where I am going to end my presentation. Please, do not forget your three state castles in Ghana. These are Elmina State Castle, Osu State Castle, and Kipu State Castle. Elmina is the biggest and the largest. The Portuguese built that one in 1482. Osu State Castle was established by the Danish in 1661. And Kipu State Castle was erected by the English in 1665. This is the youngest state castle in the whole of West Africa. What is very hurtful, very painful, is that slavery is still going on. And mostly, black people are the victims of this atrocity, mass exploitation, and manipulation. We as black people need to come together to start educating the younger generation so they, don't, they, they won't repeat the same mistakes of our ancestors and the mistakes we have made over the years. I truly appreciate your cooperation. Please, this has been a privilege. Take this from black energy. It never dies. It will never die. Thank you very much.